Hello everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Shop Social with Kim. Super excited that you've joined us uh, this evening. My apologies for the slight lateness in the video start. Uh, we had our second to last grad meeting uh, for Hayden graduating in June. So ran a little bit longer and so I just didn't quite get back or um, quickly enough. So running like a chicken with my head cut off basically. Anyway, um, we got back and we're here. Uh, so that's the main thing. So we're going to do a little uh, Mother's Day gift guide update because Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday and we thought we'd make it really easy for you to kind of give you a little bit of um, inspiration uh, for some ideas that you might want to buy for a gift or even just something to treat yourself. So first of all, um, we don't have any housekeeping today because uh, I forgot my draw sheet at home. So <laughs> when I did the comments from last week, I did it on my computer at home and it's sitting on my kitchen table. So uh, I will be just going live really quickly to announce the winner of our little one piece of tribal and a tribal swag bag. So I'll announce that um, just quickly live tomorrow. So yeah, just another one of the, of the craziness chaos that happened today. So um, a couple of things that we wanted to kind of quickly start with is um, the very best gift that you can give that lots of our regulars are already asking for is a gift card. So in store our gift cards, you can load it with any amount. Um, and then online you can choose between, I think it's 25, 50, 100, 200 and 250 or something like that. So um, the window is closing very quickly to ship out gift cards, but if you are able to pick them up in store or just have them picked up, um, then we can certainly do that obviously until Saturday at six. If you haven't already, please leave us a comment. Hi, my name is, where are you watching from and are you watching live or on the replay? Sorry, I forgot to say that earlier. Um, and today's bonus question is, have you started buying flowers? Yay, so excited for the nice weather. Um, have you started buying flowers? And where, give a shout out to your favorite greenhouse. So um, around the intro lake here, we're very fortunate to have lots of great greenhouses. Um, I always buy most of my flowers from Country Blessings. Uh, so hello, Tracy, if you're watching. Uh, Tracy's my gardening guru and she always gives me some really great hints. Um, and I always try to try a new greenhouse every year as well. So you, everyone kind of has their favorites, what they like to buy where, but I always try to find sort of another one. Like, let's say you're driving by somewhere um, and you're like, oh, it's like squirrel. So er, stop the car, go in the greenhouse. Um, so those are sometimes some great finds too. So yeah. So have you started gardening yet? What have you bought so far? Where are you going to buy it from? And give a shout out to your favorite greenhouse. So um, and also a big welcome to our online orders this week. So uh, exciting news to share. We had our highest month ever of online orders in April, um, like by a long shot. So thank you to everybody who is joining us uh, from our online orders. I usually give you um, a special um, opportunity to join us on live. Always invite you guys in uh, for our weekly Wednesday happy hour. So if you are an online order from April, thank you so much for contributing to our highest online sales month ever. And May is on track to blow that out of the water. So online, um, it's a great way to sort of secure those sizes right away. Even if you want to order online and pick up in store, we do offer that as well. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of the way of the future, right? Quick outfit tour before we start. This is actually what I was wearing to work today. <laughs> So I had no time for an outfit change today. Um, I did wear this Dolce has a jacket for Blingo. Um, a cup, I think maybe it was April Blingo or no, it was probably March Blingo. Um, but I love it. It's a knit jacket. I have this jacket in a couple of different prints. Um, one of my personal favorites. Uh, I paired it here with just my regular Simply Go To tee. My go to, but it is called literally my go to tee. So great layer under a jacket. Uh, we are going to be doing a new Simply uh, video in the next couple weeks because we just got all of our navy and printed Simply in and it's all finally organized. Um, I paired it with a great little Iskin Sisters pendant. I do have a couple of sets um, that I'm going to show you. So this is actually resin, weighs nothing on a cord and it does have a great little pair of earrings. Oh, I pulled the earrings here actually. So a great little earring as well. So if you want to really spoil your mom, uh, this, these little Iskin sister sets are gorgeous. They are not on the website. So if there's anything on here that you don't see online, please pause the video, take a screenshot and, uh, text it to me or send it on Facebook messenger. And we're happy to help out by a phone or, or whatever. So yeah, with the amount of inventory we have, we do have over 3000 SKUs on the website, but not everything makes it on. So yeah, so the Iskin sister is definitely one of my top picks. Okay. So basically what I decided to do was kind of like pull 
some ideas to just give you kind of a heads up view of just some inspiration of like, what can I get? Because we're all in that situation of like, okay, I've got a candle, I've got a mug, I've got like, so I did pick quite a few um, handbags and beach bags because that's something that you can always use. So I'm a bag person. So I have a kajillion million bags, but sometimes you just don't have the right bag, right? So we have some new brands. Um, when I went to the Toronto gift show in January, I did find quite a few new, um, uh, new brands. And so I'm going to show you a couple of those first. Then I also pulled some jewelry. So I have some new jewelry lines, um, as well as some kind of clothing pieces to close it out. So we can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Everybody loves to get a new piece of clothing, um, for a gift, just kind of something to spice up your life. So I'm going to show you a couple of, we have our new Jag jeans in as well as our, um, little sweatshirts from our Shira Lee company. So, okay. So without further ado, let's start off with our big bag. So we'll start off. Oh, that's a fun way to do it. Let's do biggest item to smallest item in scale. Okay. So let's start. I need a Vanna today. <laughs> okay, so the first one um, is uh, kind of a perfect farmer's market tote. So this one is a new brand for us. It's called Santa Barbara Design Studio. And look how sweet. So it says Endless Summer on it. It is plasticized on the inside. And really, and it's just an open style. So I do have these stuff with plastic, but it's a really nice open style. Great if you are a farmer's market person, if you're kind of wanting that vegetable um, preserves and that kind of thing. So it's a great size just for every day. Um, I am someone who carries a bag like this all uh, to work every day. I've got my computer, I got my coffee, I got my snack, I got my yogurt. So I like a big square bag like this just to kind of be going back and forth. If you're an everyday grocery shopper, I'm an everyday grocery shopper. Um, this is perfect because you're throwing in your three things you need for supper. You got your small purse in here, your big purse, that kind of thing. So endless summer, and I will quote your prices uh, when available. So these guys are 79. Then we have a smaller version. So just that little summer tote. So you're thinking of, I got my water in here, my book, um, a small wallet, you're going to the beach, that kind of thing. So same fabrication, kind of like a woven jute type of a fabric. And this one says summer. And this one is 69. Kind of more of a purse size, but a nice complement to the other. Then we also have from the same brand, these are, which I thought were super cute. This one is called a hold everything bag. So they, it's kind of a little bit more um, east west. This one says summer vibes, really nice sort of a brown leather combo on it. Very short strap. So more of a tote bag as opposed to a shoulder bag. And the other ones I'm just looking at the, at the wall are say lake life and beach please. So these are excellent for beach bags but also an everything bag, super big, um, and they stand. So the, the, the fact that they stand always is an important um, option for me. I'm just gonna grab my next set of beach bags. Give me a moment. Like I say, need a banana. Okay, so this one we actually just got in today. This is from another new brand called Paths. So P-A-T-H-Z, so Paths. Um, kind of a little woven look. Really pretty if you're looking again for that little bit of a tote bag, you can also use as a purse, 59. Then we have ones that you're very used to seeing from Dolcezza. So we have tons of prints in this one. This is the one, obviously, I don't know, I should have grabbed, no, am I matching? No, but there is, this is the same brand as the jacket that I'm wearing. Um, lots and lots of nice hardware on here. Also plasticized, you can use it for a beach bag. Uh, well, plasticized dish, like not super plasticky, but you, it, it would be definitely resistant to water. Lots of people carry these as an everyday summer bag, coming in tons of colors. You can even get like a matching little top for them. Um, so you get like the top of the bag, which is cute. And I think these are 59-ish, 69. Okay. Then we have a true beach bag. So kind of getting quite generously. These ones are uh, called El Elise or Elsie and Zoe. Elsie and Zoe, I think. Elsie and Zoe. And another one of her new lines. And this one is plasticized, so great for the water. Has a little pocket on the inside. I just have it stuffed. But I love that kind of an ombre type of effect. Really cute for the beach. And these guys are 59. 
And then there's also a little beach arrow one, which is cute. Kind of a nice canvas finish. Okay, next on the list. All right, so from the past as well, these guys are 59, zippered top on this one. So if you're using it for an airport, um, for an airport carry on, I am the person whose lipstick is usually rolling down the center aisle. So I try in all, in all cases to get a zipper top bag so that my lipstick and other unmentionables are not rolling down the aisle. So this one is more, I would say not plasticized, so definitely more of a tote. And these are 59, but just a nice classic finish, very summery. And then these I love. So sort of, they're vegan leather, 59, 49, kind of that carry all tote, have a little bit of that Yellowstone kind of feel to it, very unstructured. Uh, we do have a little bit of stuffing in it, but it's very, very super soft and supple, right? So of course that brown is kind of a cowboy brown. Love it. Then we have the plain black, which because someone's gonna say, oh, if you only had that brown and black, I would love it, and we do. And then here's Kim's pick, probably of all of the bags. Love it, so with my outfit today, would be perfect. Um, like I say, a large tote will never do you wrong and a really good value at $49.99. So great price um, for that as well. And this is an open bag with just one snap. So not as good for an airplane tote, but also really good for kind of being, getting lots of good big stuff in here. So when you're shopping, when you're on holidays and you're carrying bags back, um, handy to have a couple of those. So, okay, so that's it for big bags. Um, then I did pull some purses and some belt bags. Of course, as you know, the whole belt bag trend is super exciting. Um, it's things that people don't generally have yet. So if you might have one or two, but people are changing them up kind of like fashion now. So it's not, if, even if your mom or the person that you're buying for or yourself only has maybe a black one, we have lots of fun little colors as well. Okay. I didn't think this part through. <laughs> I should have had it a little bit closer to me. Oh, well. All right. So in the belt bags, I just grabbed a couple of them. This is another new line for us. And um, what I like about this is it just has a little bit more fashion appeal. So kind of in that nice floral texture. And then of course, can't get away with it without black. And I'm just gonna try the black one on just so you can see how it lays kind of. So lots of people will think, oh, that's not a belt bag, that's a fanny pack, right? And in the olden days, we wore them like this and some people still do. But now most people are kind of going this way. And those of you who know me well know that I am a big purse person. So I have a very hard time wrapping my brain around this is gonna be enough for me. However, when I was in Vegas, I did uh, buy one of the new leather ones that we had earlier in the season and I got a little small wallet. And I have to say, I did quite well in Vegas with it. I did have my big purse for some days, but for out and about on the strip walking around, this was great. It really distributed the weight over your shoulder and it didn't sort of weigh you down. So these ones are great. They're nice and light. This is not leather. And I'm just trying to find the price here for you. Uh, they are, they are 59 and they come in tons of colors. Tons of colors, tons of prints, probably 12 different prints in the same size. So that, then another new brand. I had lots of fun shopping at that show. <laughs> so another new brand that we found, um, it's called it's called Passion, Miss Caprice. So it also has, um, there's a couple of different price points. Actually, I just realized this is all the same company, but there, we have another company that is in fun nylons as well super well priced these guys are also pretty well priced at 49 but there's some that are like 29 as well so these are all printed nylon so really nice and light kind of think that Derek alexander type of uh, nylon finish but in some fun colors so these ones do have a strap that adjusts cross body we're on lots of print here print overload but that's kind of fun so if you have somebody who just likes kind of a nice cross body or you can also do it as a shoulder bag as well so we have the hearts which are cute then we also have the garden. I like this one as well. Floral, 
both 49 has a little flap super pretty and that kind of a nice springy look for springy look for the summer so okay so I do have a couple more handbags but I'm just going to transition to a couple more of a collection um, one of the other brands that we have, have featured a couple of times before, I think from the sweatshirts is our new Shira Lee. And that's as well from, um, that show that I went to earlier in the winter. So this is a line from the U S and I just pulled like a few bags. There's tons of options. So it's really that nice, cute little fun junior bag. This is a nylon quilted as well. These ones are a little bit more expensive. This one's 99. Um, no, I think it does have a crossbody strap. Let me see. Let's check. A little crossbody strap would help. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh yeah, it does. So it has a crossbody guitar strap as well. So kind of that little bucket bag type of, and it does have a zipper. Super cute, comes in pink and orange as well. And then every piece that you see comes in all the colors. So this is a little makeup bag, comes taupe, black, orange and pink. Then we have the large makeup bag, orange, pink, black, and taupe. You're getting the idea. And then we also have a belt bag from these guys. And this is 89 and really nice gold hardware on this one. A little small, this is a little short for me, but anyway, so you can kind of see it's a little bit more sporty with that bit of a guitar strap this way. And just a nice little small, small size. Yeah. So it depends if your mom is a sporty mom, you're wanting to be a little bit dressy, you want to be a little bit sporty. But yeah, these little belt bags have been a great seller so far. They're super lightweight. They don't really weigh anything at all. Okay, so there's that. Then I'm just going to transition to a couple of wallets and purses. Oops, I went back. Okay, sorry guys. Yeah, this is like not a well thought out video at all. <laughs> Oh, well, that's why you love me, right? Okay, so uh, we have had this purse previously in other um, videos. And you know that it is probably our number one selling purse. We have, I think last summer we sold 60 of these purses in, I ordered 24 three or four times. So pretty crazy. Never ha have we ever sold 60 of one purse before. So this one is uh, from uh, Milo Bags. And it is a wonderful little crossbody uh, with a detachable strap. So you can use this as a wallet in one of the big bags if you want. And it has a couple of great features. So the first one is a uh, pocket for your phone or sunglasses on the front. Then it has two compartments. Oops, there went that. Oh, it just clicked off. That's why. So if anyone has bought this purse or has this purse, please let us know in the comments why you like it. Uh, then it has a whole full wallet inside. So credit cards, um, money slots, money slots, and then a whole full money slot here. Then there's also another compartment that you can put your either phone or sunglasses, whatever you don't put in the first pocket. So I'm someone who carries a big cell phone and a hard cell phone case. So if you are, if you are that person, often a small purse doesn't have room for both. So that's why I love this one. So this is a new kind of a camel color. Again, my flies here. Again, very yellow stony. Then we have the new aqua. So this is one I usually sell if anyone's going on holidays or you just want kind of a nice little um, summer color. So the teal, the navy, which is great. Really nice color in the navy. We've never had the navy before. The black. And two new colors, this redwood kind of color, which is like, a, I don't know, like redwood, kind of like a rusty red. And then also a fun little new metallic. So the burnished gold is kind of a fun color. So 119, uh, we have quite a bit of stock at the moment. Then also from Milo Bags, um, they did a little bit more of a sort of classic or structured version of this bag. So this one is, or is this Derek Alexander maybe? Just a second, maybe I'm wrong here. It is Derek Alexander, sorry. Okay, so switching gears just really quickly. So the Derek Alexander, we have had this one in plain leather. Um, 
I like it this one because it does have a little bit of color and whoa, super fun color. So it definitely has the same type of size as the other one, but it doesn't have the second um, zipper. So this is just a one zipper purse. The other one has the this and then also the extra piece for your other sunglasses or phone. So just know that those are the difference between the two. Coming in this print or this coloration as well as the blue. Oh, I'm going to have a pile of purses to put back when I get, get here in the morning. And then this one in the blue, navy with the teal. Kind of a nice summer color too. Okay, so that one, oh, and price is 99 then we have the wallet, the corresponding wallet. So this way, I love this wallet actually. And really lots of organization here. Lots of money slots, money slots, money slots. Um, change purse, convenient. Um, and also change purse on the other side. So hard for lots of these purses, they don't have a lot of change compartments. And that drives me crazy because I'm always slipping change in here. And then you go to open your purse like this. And then all the change falls out. Never fails. So yeah, so that one in both colors as well. Oh no, that one in that color. And then this is just the one with the full zip. So kind of, oops, kind of an accordion. Oh, these are Milo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, I'm like hot mess. Hot mess mother here today. Uh, so these are 75. So these are Milo as well. And a couple of different options here. This is a very organized wallet. If you're someone who likes to grab your wallet and run into the grocery store, see this is my normal type of wallet. I have another wallet right now with, with the, um, the snap on it. Normally I am this person wallet because I throw it into the cart and then I'm all over the place. I don't like to have to worry about my change and receipts and stuff. So I like a full zip wallet like this generally. Okay, so there's that. Um, oh, I have more. I have more Milo actually. I'm like, oh, where are those? There we are. Okay, and then since we're on the Milo bandwagon, I just want to show you a couple of the different um, finishes that we got from Milo this season. So this is a gorgeous chestnut brown, double uh, zip. This uh, this purse actually expands to hold to hold quite a bit of. Um, of goodies on the inside and this guy is and none of this is on the website yet either 189 so full grain leather uh, very difficult to find a full grain leather bag now so Derek Alexander Milo pretty much the only ones um, that we have that we have currently almost all the designer bags now even like the coaches and the Michael Kors of the world are all vegan leather or um, just a not leather. So if you're someone who likes a leather bag, they're two great brands for sure. So this one is definitely the Cadillac. Nice because you can kind of go this way or this way. And I thought this was nice because it's not black. So we're in black purses and black shoes all year long. And I just thought, you know what, this is kind of nice to lighten it up a little bit. And yet still into the fall, you could accessorize with brown and it would still look nice as well. So this is, this is a fully in my comfort zone type of purse size. So this is, this is what I would carry on an everyday basis <laughs> with all my stuff in it. Um, but then there's also this little one, which is kind of fun with a little, um, not a guitar strap, but just kind of an except like little different type of decor on the, on the strap. This is obviously a little bit too big for this, but you could probably do it like this if you wanted. Um, and I'm going to show you just a little bit Kind of that braiding look as well right so nice for the summer not so heavy looking so this way or then you could certainly do as a crossbody like that and this guy is 179 and then a couple that you're used to i didn't think i pulled so many purses i'm like oh i'm just gonna grab a couple purses and then here we are at like purse 24. <laughs> oh boy um Purses are kind of a hard thing though, because they have to do what you need them to do to be functional for you. So Derek Alexander, of course, never disappoints. Um, their leather bags are the best quality we have ever had. Their warranty is exceptional. If after 10 years, your zipper goes, you can call them and send it back directly and they will fix it for you or send you a new one. Like the warranty is totally unbelievable. I'm messed up here in this bag here. I was trying to make it longer. So 
This one is probably our, one of our best sellers. It's an envelope bag, but it's meant to be crossbody, and it has just a really nice organization. So I like to be able to be like, okay, here I hear I'm at the grocery store. I like to be able to put my keys, my phone, right, right in the center, and then you can flip it around, and you still have a really nice design detail on the other side. So beautiful red color. Again, not black, right? And this is setting you back a cool $249. And then this one, I thought I pulled this one because I thought it would be nice for a little dress bag. So you know how you're going to a wedding and you don't really want a sort of an older fashioned dress bag that's that has like a clamp because you can never fit anything in those bags. This one at least you can is a dressy finish, so it's kind of that nice um, that nice silver finish, full grain leather, triple zipper. So this is great for you know you're wanting to have the extra your phone or your camera or whatever, um, lipstick, maybe you wanna put like a small bottle of water in here. So this is definitely trim, but you could fit, all, you pack a lot of punch in this bag that you can also use for a dress bag. If you're going to a wedding and you're like part of the wedding, you sometimes need stuff like extra makeup and whatever. So this will definitely fit that. So I love this. This is a new bag for us. I love it, 169. Okay. And most of these we that we all of the expensive ones we generally just have one one or two maximum. So if it's something that you're interested in, please screenshot it and send me a Facebook message. I'm happy to set it aside for you if you want to have a second look at it. And okay, so where are we at now? 741. Okay, I better hurry up. So I did pull a, a little bit of jewelry, not a ton of jewelry, um, because I'm sort of in the midst of redoing the jewelry section. To be very honest. So I'm just in the middle of doing an inventory and then um, we have a bunch of new jewelry to put out. So I did pull some of the new pieces that we haven't even put out yet, just to kind of show you an idea of kind of what we're, where we're going with it, what we're thinking of. Okay. Oops. And I broke my bustle. Yikes. Okay. So this is one of the new brands. And now it's just a very commercial feel. What I like about this one is it has tons of colors in it. I was gonna grab a bustle, but I just broke the back. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so we'll just do this. So tons of colors in it. We just found that we were missing that sort of matchy match kind of. Some people like like earrings and a necklace as a set. So that's kind of where that's going, right? I love that. I think it's just a really easy gift idea. Then we have this one. Kind of that tri-color, tri-tone. And then the earring. And these are all nickel-free earrings. So the necklace is 30, the earrings are 20. So reasonable price. Great for a gift idea. And this one, I don't know where the earrings went to, but this is what I just thought was really nice for jeans. Even with my little pants I'm wearing today, they'd be pretty. Perfect color for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, then, um, forgot about this when I was doing the wristlet. So this little wristlet, I, it, it's the, from the same company as the Thatched Beach Bags, like the I Love Summer and that kind of thing. Uh, 39 bucks, and it's called a Hold Everything Patent Pouch. So it says the weekend on it, kind of a nice gold trim. If you're someone who likes just kind of that more muted effect, I know I've got lots of print going on here and you're wanting to something just to take down to dinner, you're going to a hotel, uh, maybe you wanna just put your phone, your room key, your lipstick, and just sort of put it in and take it down to dinner. This is a great option. Also an inexpensive option for a um, little dress bag if you're going to a wedding. I picked this color because I thought, you know what, what wouldn't it go with? Um, you just want sort of those things, and again, enclosed. It does have a wristlet on it, handy. So not just a clutch. So yeah, these, I, I just sort of tried this out. It's kind of a little patent. Um, I just thought it would be a nice anybody kind of purse. So you could even use it on your desk for kind of a little organization if you don't have any uh, occasion to go with. So lots of options. Okay, and then I did just pull some of the new Caracol bracelets. Um, these are ones that we have had other colors of in previous years. So definitely you, one of our absolute favorite bestsellers. This is a triple strand. It comes sold together, but you can wear them separately. Lots of people like to get a couple of different color stories and then um, put them together. Oh, there went that. 
So easy peasy. So this one has now two since I broke the other one. Yikes. Try this again. I'm glad it broke for me and not you. Okay, there we go. So if you want to do, let's say, like if you're going to layer this, you could even do like the middle three or you can do just like mix it up sort of with coloration. You know, see it kind of has a neat effect when you put two together. I like that one. Then we have also just a nice plain clasp. And this is just a really easy caracol style. I like a white option for the summer because it just kind of matches everything that you're wearing. So this is on, this is all five strands on one clasp. So that's easy peasy. 745, okay, let's move. Okay, and then the last thing that I picked for jewelry was the same as my little, oops, I'm talked about here. Same uh, is the Iskin Sisters because there is really nothing like it. So this, these are both leather pieces. So we have the neck, this is a magnet. All of these are metallic leather. These are handmade in Buenos Aires. Uh, it's called Iskin Sisters because the company is two sisters. Um, they didn't have Canadian distribution for a while. So we've had it a couple years ago and then we just recently got it in again. And they, there is second to none of any of these pieces. So I have a couple sets that I wear to work all the time. This is definitely a premium um, item, but if your mom or whoever you're buying this for is a real jewelry um, junkie, then this might be the wow factor for sure. So we have the necklace bracelet. So some have, some have earrings and necklace, some have bracelet and necklace, just depends. Comes beautifully packaged and like really weighs nothing. So if you're gonna ship, even a great idea as well. Okay. Um, a couple of scarves from Dolceza. I should probably, here, let's just get rid of this for the moment. And just so you can kind of see it, not on, not print on print for a change for me. So the Dolceza scarves definitely are always a great gift idea. Um, all of them are based on artwork. So same as the jacket is based on a painting, all of the scarves are as well. So this is, actually this one matches what I'm wearing pretty nicely. Um, as you know, I'm not really a scarf person. I don't really know what to do with them. What I do like to do with them is if I'm wearing a plain dress, I like to do kind of almost like a little pareo, especially if you're gonna cover up your arm just a little bit and you kind of have almost like if you're wearing a plain top, it just kind of dresses it up a little bit, right? So this one's a really pretty one. Great with jeans or with a jean jacket. Then there is, I just pulled a couple, like there's at least six or eight prints, but I just pulled a couple. So this one is, this is the jacket I'm wearing, I think. Oh yeah, it is, perfect. So I can put this one on too, because I know it's gonna match what I'm wearing. <laughs> so yeah, that one is really pretty. Let me kind of go. See, I don't ever know what to do with scarves. I love, and some people are so good with scarves. So kind of, yeah, you see that looks kind of cute. Yeah, so kind of fun, $59, I think. And there comes in tons of different colors. And then I just wanted to grab my little Shirley sweatshirts because we got such a great reaction on our other little video that I filled in on the end with. Uh, first of all, this is one of the new summer sweaters from Tribal. So Tribal always has um, kind of a little insignia sweater. This one is cream, so not my personal color, but it says Island Time. So if you are a cream person, kind of a little different, um, like a boucle almost, kind of a feel to the sweater, really pretty. Um, then we have, uh, this is a little escape one. See, oh, look at how cute with these pants. Oh, I love it. Very cute. Hello, hello. Hi, Susan. Hi, Darlene. Is my t-shirt simply? Yes. My t-shirt is simply, as most of you know, I'm usually wearing at least one piece of simply every day. It's called the go-to t-shirt in short sleeve. This is a go-to in three quarter. This is a go-to in short sleeve. Um, yeah, look, I might even have to buy the sweater. Look how cute it matches those pants. Gorgeous. Then we have a couple of our little Shirley sweatshirts. So the same brand, uh, same company as our little quilted bags with all of the orange and pink. Um, 
Also, they have some great little sweatshirts. So this is a French Terry. This is a great summer sweatshirt, bonfire, very casual, um, but very lightweight as well. So we have Sunshine and Aqua. And these guys are 89. This is my favorite, of course, because I love the pink. Chasing Sunsets. In, and this one actually has a gold sort of filigree. Very cute. And then we have, of course, wouldn't we all love it to be Endless Summer? We have, whoops, we have Endless Summer with the orange. Okay, so that is, oh, and I know what I want to talk about. So the other thing that we just got in that we haven't had for a while is Jag. So for those of you who are waiting anxiously for Jag jeans, yay, finally we have them. Um, so Jag jeans are distributed by Western Glove Works, which is the also the home of Silver Jeans. So it's just a different brand. Um, they're a little bit, they're very similar to French dressing. I would say slightly lower in the rise, maybe slightly more um, like basic, but fashion-y. So I'm going to show you a couple of the styles and I should have hung these up again, but I was really, yeah, I just should have hung them up. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, we have the ruby mid-rise straight. So I'm just going to show you kind of the leg so you can have just a bit of an idea. Now, these are all on the website. So if you go to johnsonsfashion.com, click on women's fashion, and you will see Jag. Uh, I do have a separate page for Jag. I believe there's eight styles. I forgot to pull the shorts, but there is two jean shorts. Um, so if you know and love Jag, you will really be really happy with the new, um, with the new style. So this is a traditional rinse a little bit more of an open leg but not super baggy it's called mid-rise straight 32 inseam they all come 6 to 16. so i'll just open it up just so you can kind of see really nice basic jean not a lot of distressing not super washy like if you're a casual friday at work person this would be a great jean so i actually haven't tried them all in all yet myself um that'll be another uh try on then we have the Eloise Mid-Rise Cropped Boot. I have seen this one on. It is very cute on. It's a nice stretch denim. It is an open leg, so it definitely is a boot crop. It's gonna hang fairly generously from the hip, so straight all the way down, not coming in on the hip. And this is a 26 inch inseam, so it's a crop for most of us. If you're a petite, it'll be right on, right on, the, right on the ankle. So nice for a petite leg as well. Then we have the Ruby Crop. So same jean as we had in the regular in a 26 inch inseam. So that is, so for me, that would be about an inch and a half above my ankle. This is going to sit right on my natural waist. And incidentally, they do have like similar to the tribal one. They do have that stretch in the waistband now. How did we ever live before that? So Ruby Mid-Rise Straight Crop, 6 to 16 in the dark wash. Then I'm gonna end with this one. Then we have one that they've done in the past or a very similar one that's called the Carter Mid-Rise Girlfriend coming shipped with a crop. So if you're kind of wanting that little bit of a retro 50s kind of inspired jean, great option. I own these as well um, in, a, in another size. But yeah, this is definitely one I'm gonna be rebuying in a smaller size because they are such a great fit. Um, you can roll them down to be, so 26 inch inseam. If you rolled them down, they probably would be like more like a 28. So if you're petite, this is a great style um, to choose from, especially if you don't need the petite more in the waist, if you're more of a petite inseam. Super great style, great summer jean, very casual, but fun. And then I'm gonna end off, because I know I'm over time here, sorry, with kind of the latest and greatest. So nothing that we've ever had before. This one is called the Forever Stretch Straight Leg. It's a mid-rise straight, 30 inch inseam, but look how it's sized. Small, medium, large, extra large. Like how great for jeans is that? Why aren't all jeans sized small, medium, extra large, right? Small, small, medium, large, extra large. So crazy amount of stretch. So you could probably go up a size or down a size very easily in these. Um, buy them a size up if you want them to be kind of loosey-goosey boyfriend. Buy them a size down if you want them to be trim. So we'll definitely in a future video be doing a try-on of all of these because I think it would be fun to see the difference um, in the jeans. So these ones, like I say, small, medium, large, extra large, and it's a 30 leg. Well, this says 20, yeah, 30 inseam. So for me, I'm about a 31 inseam. This would be like right over my ankle or right on the ankle. 
So definitely a bit washier, kind of a bit of a California wash. T touch whiskering, but not much. Um, so yeah, this would be a nice summer jean as well. So, okay. Thank you for all of your um, patience with me being a crazy person today. Uh, just one of those days and a rush to get here. So thank you for joining. I hope I gave you some nice Mother's Day options. If you're not buying anything for um, your mom for Mother's Day, why not treat yourself? So just wanted to uh, close off by saying we also have a Blingo update. So we now have a Blingo prepaid subscription. So back when we launched in November, we wanted this to roll out at the same time to give you two options to subscribe, but it just has rolled out recently. So for those who've already subscribed, this does nothing changes for you. It does change, however, if you're wanting to buy someone a gift. So let's say you wanna buy your mom uh, six months of Blingo, or you wanna go in with your siblings or whatever. So you can now go onto the website. It's actually a separate product. So there's a Blingo subscription, and then there's a prepaid Blingo subscription. So you go to, you just click on Blingo at the top of the website, so johnsonsfashion.com, click on Blingo, and you'll see both subscription options. And then once you click on the prepaid, it'll take you to the next page where it says prepaid six months, prepaid six months uh, continually, six months every other month, 12 months continually, prepaid 12, prepaid, yeah, there's four options anyways four options, four budgetary options. Um, and then after the three months, the recipient will have an option to either resubscribe themselves or you could um, buy them another six months or whatever you want. So it's we're, it's just launched on, my this fly is loving me today. Uh, it's just launched with our um, Bold subscription app. So we're kind of just trying it out and see what everybody thinks. The easy way, it's just an easy way to buy somebody a gift. So we're really excited about it. If you are interested um, in getting um, someone in your life a Blingo subscription, their first box will obviously not be for May because we're sold out. So their first box would be for June. So if you're in on the weekend and you're thinking about that, um, I'm more than happy to help. Uh, I could either um, just do up a little postcard for you and gift wrap it in a box so that when they open it, it'll be like, hey, we, you, uh, you have been gifted a three month subscription of Blingo and just write out a little thing and just so that they know kind of what they're getting, right? So uh, it's just something that we're really excited about. We're hope we were again hoping that we would um, roll out in the very beginning, but subscription boxes are changing so quickly every time. The technology is just kind of catching up to the demand. So yeah, if you're thinking about buying someone a gift, um, please go ahead and select the prepaid option if you so choose. Of course, if you want to buy someone a gift and still pay monthly totally fine as well. It's just for those people who want to pay up front. Kind of like if you've ever had FabFitFun, you can pay seasonally or you can pay annually. So it's the exact same thing. Some people prefer one, some people prefer the other. So yeah, just another option um, for Blingo. So, uh, so next week we will have Blingo again. Like it's just coming up so quickly. So May 15th, we will have Blingo. Um, the week after that, there will be no video because I am away. Um, Hayden's playing volleyball for um, uh, his club team for nationals in Edmonton. So I will be gone that week. We're leaving Tuesday night. Uh, so I won't have a video. It'll be the, the May 22nd video will not be here. So we will next see each other at Blingo and then on the 29th, I believe, which is the Wednesday. So the time is just going so fast. Hard to believe it's already like we're into May already. Okay, so any questions at all about the new Blingo options, I'm happy to help. If there's anything um, that you're wanting to have a second look at that you don't see on the website, please feel free to screenshot, happy to help as well. Um, I'm gonna say if you're ordering a gift card, it may, it probably won't get there if we mail it tomorrow, but if you're okay with the person getting in the next, you know, Monday or Tuesday or whatever, then we're happy to mail out as well or um, in store and yeah, so we're gonna just have some fun um, in the next few days. We will look forward to, I'll, I'll definitely be posting the winner from the draw last week for the tribal item and then the tribal swag bag from last week's video. And yeah, we're also gonna do a tribal um, fun little golf something over May long weekend, um, a little in-store draw as well as an um, online draw. So we'll be forwarding details for that pretty soon. Okay, before 8 o'clock, I'm going to be uh, out of your hair. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. We will look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday for Blingo already.
Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful Mother's Day for those celebrating. Hope you have a wonderful, relaxing day. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Talk to you guys later.